fuck you talking about, nigga? Talk shit radio, nigga. Mr. Evans show, nigga. Nigga, I said just tune in to the music, nigga. Already subscribed, nigga. Man, fuck that, nigga. You ain't subscribed to shit, nigga. Let me see your phone, nigga. Yeah, nigga. Let me see the paperwork, nigga. Butter biscuit head ass, nigga. No. Boy, you all cap. Greasy head ass, nigga. How many old you fucked this week? We ain't talking about my dick problems right now. We talking about you subscribing, nigga. Nigga, I'm subscribed to that gunplay, nigga. You feel me, bitch? Now get your rose spray smelling ass away from me. You ain't got to be like this, homie. Nigga, that shit dead. Nigga, what? Ricky, nigga. Should subscribe, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. It's your host with the most funny Nemo host, Mr. Evans, and um, this is the motherfucking honest podcast episode right here. I'm going to just be speaking from the goddamn heart. I don't care who listen to this shit. I don't care if it's people who I live with, people who claim to be my friends, homies and shit, family members. I don't give a fuck. This is completely therapy for me right here, man. And I'm going to speak some real shit. I'm 25 years old and I've been through a lot of shit. And am I at the place that I want to be in life? Nah, not really. Not really. But guess what? I'm on the path because I'm on a good path, great path, extraordinary path, my, my nigga. reason why I say that because I actually have a goal in life. I actually have dreams and aspirations. That's what separates me from the average person that don't got their shit together at the age of 25. Most of the people that I'm around right now that's my age, they ain't shit, man. And it's like I love these niggas, but they ain't shit, man. They ain't shit, man. And it's like I'm tired of I'm tired of just sitting around and just like carving this shit to myself because it's like I actually got dreams and goals and aspirations, something for you to support when you see me. But I'm tired of being around people who who don't got shit shit to a latch on or nothing to support of their own. So it's like, how can I sit here and ask or even expect support from these people? Because, like, they ain't even got shit of their own that they can support, you know, that I can latch on to. Not even a, a picture for me to like on Instagram, you know? So it's like, I think this is not really me trying to be a teacher here. This is just me um, just, you know, just getting my thoughts out, man. Just getting, this is therapy for me. This is like the therapist episode, honestly, like. You know, I haven't dropped the Talk Shit Radio episode in a long ass time because I ain't know how to formulate shit. But I think I'm going to use this podcast as a, a form of therapy, something that I can just get my my thoughts without any filters or any anything that can dilute or diminish the, my message. You know, and um, my message is right here is if you 16 right now, you listening to me, if you 18 right now, if, nigga, if you 10 Bruh, start young, man, of what you want to do in life, man, and actually go through the trials and tribulations and and, and the and the um the 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 letdowns, the 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 fuck, what's that word, man? That um being rejected. Go through all those rejections, man, so you can show yourself, prove to yourself that you willing to go ten toes down on whatever you chose to be your pathway, man. And, and trying to find a path is not something you have to find. It's something that's in you. We all have gifts and talented, talents. You feel me? So it's all about actually tapping into that. You get what I'm saying? And sometimes a person can recognize a gift and talent in you before you can even see it in yourself, you know? And it's like I got so many motherfuckers that's around me that's talented as fuck. 
funny as fuck. Got so much, so much to offer, but they don't offer shit. Not even to themselves, man. And it's like, man, if you're 25 years old and you don't know what the fuck you want to do with your life, I'm sorry, my nigga, but you doomed. It's done for you. And if you're 30 and you don't know what the fuck you, you really over with. You really in a fucked up situation. You know what I'm saying? And I feel bad if you bringing kids into this life and you still don't even know what the fuck you want to do, but... You having kids in your life and your kids going to have dreams and, and goals and aspirations and just imagination. Something that you lost. Most grown, grown adults have lost during this course of life. Their imagination. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, how the fuck you don't got no imagination of what you want to do with your life. But you bringing a kid in this world and you can't even help your kid have uh, formulate their imaginations. You can't even tell your kid, yo, you can be, be anything you want in life. Because they looking at you as the example. And all you did was just suck her up and be a sucker in life, man. Settling, man. Playing games all day. Selling weed, but you ain't even really got an end goal to it. How the fuck you going to sell drugs and not have an end goal to stop selling drugs at one point, my nigga? I thought I thought when Ghost got in the drug game in power that his whole end goal was to go legitimate. Same thing with Franklin on Snowfall. So y'all niggas over here having these Scarface dreams and that shit ain't real, man, nigga. That shit ain't real, man. Y'all niggas need to wake the fuck up, man, and, and, and actually, actually tap into who you are, man. Because right now, who you are is a bunch of theses in the toilet that I'm, I'm quite frankly want to flush. But just because I got certain memories with these niggas, it, it keeps that little attachment there. But it's like, I got to let that shit go because that shit is just holding me f the fuck back. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't helping me either. It don't make not a damn sense that you can be a fucking... A, a fucking... A director or you trying to be a filmmaker or something And you ain't even got nobody in your family Let alone somebody in your family to hold a fucking camera for you Because they too much on their phone Looking at some other celebrity riding they coattail When you gonna be the celebrity that everybody gonna be praising And, and highlighting your words for being motivational and shit But yet they being inspired by some bullshit that's some bullshit, man. You get what I'm saying? So, man, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, niggas and nicklets, look, man, start off young, man. Start off young, man. Get to know what the fuck you want to do in life, man, young, man. So by the time you about like 25 or 30, man, you already put in the work and experience and the time and the effort, bro, and the consistency of proving to yourself most and foremost that this is something that I actually want to do. This is something that I'm good at. And this is something that is going to take me to the next level, man. And start weeding out the motherfuckers that ain't, that, 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 that just, that just ain't liking, ain't subscribing. How the fuck can you be my best friend and you ain't subscribed to my shit? How the fuck can you be my best friend or my best homegirl or even my fucking girlfriend and you can't, and you can't come, come to my show? You can't. Like my shit Or I go on your phone And And, and, and I go on on, on, on on YouTube And search Search up the Evan station And my shit ain't subscribe On my shit But you over here dating me How the fuck Can I believe That you really got My best interest in heart How How can I believe You have my best interest in heart If you ain't here to support What I actually want to do With my life But you here to support what I don't want to do in my life, which is work a nine to five job to get ends meet for, for, for what? To have a petty ass dime that we're going to smoke in one day? Come on now. Get the motherfuckers that's 30 years old, even 40 years old, that still act like kids, man. I don't give a fuck if you 40, man. I know I said it's over with for you or you're doomed, but... And realistically, on a spiritual note, we got lifetimes, my nigga. But the sad thing is, a lot of niggas that's around me, it's better luck next lifetime for them already, my nigga. 
And you know what? That's all I'm gonna end this this episode with. I wanted this I wanted this to be a quick one. Um, yeah, I wanted to get this shit off my chest, man. Talk shit radio shit, man. Thank y'all for listening.